Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever the time is that you're actually getting a chance to watch this. I know because I've lived a night owl life and 3 o'clock in the morning is my lunch hour sometimes. So, uh, I'm going to demonstrate making a snail. A snail is a fairly simple animal or figurine to make. Um, it's just uh, first you make a round ball and you can, as you can see slowly but surely as I turn it I let it round into itself and that's the basic body of a snail. Next step is to uh, put the twist in the shell. And the way you go about that is you heat up one side, just one side, get it nice and orange glowing. And then you touch a cold piece of glass to it and twist. And as you twist, it swirls in the shell. You let it, you bend it back and forth, and it should come off in that spot. Then you just fire polish it a little bit, and that's one side of the snail shell. Now, next, whatever way, which way you turn, whether you turn clockwise or counterclockwise, on the opposite side of the shell, now you go and do the reverse of the side. So I did this one clockwise. So the next one will be counterclockwise to do the other side of the shell. So that they're twisting in the same direction. And there you go. Let it cool a little bit. Bend it back and forth. And it should break off at that spot. Fire polish it. And you got some nice swirl snail shell. Now I put a cold well at the top. And when I start doing a piece geometrically, I sort of figure out where the front is, where the back is going to be, where the top. I mean, you know, top, back, front, sides, left, you know, left and right side. You, you, you think in that three dimensional state when you're making it and even though right now this is the top and, and it's on the bottom it's still the top of the piece of the snail shell where I have the cold weld okay so I confused you now you go down about a quarter of an inch and pull some of that glass off and then you press it down and that makes the base for your snail shell to, to rest on. Now, I already know which way that the head and neck is going to go. I seal the two pieces together, making them one piece of glass. Heat out a little, heat, pull out a little bit, bend up. Heat some more, pull out a little bit, and bend out. And then I do my DQ swirl and you got the head to the snail now for the antennae heat the two together touch and pull out and pull forward just a little bit and gravity will do the rest and again you heat out touch pull out pull off and for the tail basically the same thing you do for the neck but not as long and not as rounded off and stuff like that it just sort of works that way up and out now I'll heat up the bottom here press it 
tap it, oops, and then fire polish where I had the cold weld, and you have one snail ready to go. Okay, so I want to flatten the bottom just a little bit, it's a little wobbly. Just a little wobbly. There you go. I also want to make him a little happier because he sort of, his head's drooping down a little. There you go. Also, side note. The twist swirl that you make for the shell would make a wonderful twist swirl for a very tight bud in a rose flower. And you put a few paddles on the outside edge and you've got a very nice tight rose. Something to think about when you're seeing making your designs on some of your animals and you learn like the, the, the swirl pattern and it becomes a what I call a letter in your alphabet of shapes that you draw from to make your animals. Think about the shape and you say, hmm, I wonder what that would look good on as... And in my case, when I was doing the snails for so long, I was saying, how am I going to do a rose? And then I thought to myself, oh yeah, that swirl pattern that I used on that. It's called lateral thinking. In other words, see it in one place and see what the pattern can look like. Just like when you look at a scribbly lines on a page and you look, or, or, or the stucco in a wall and you look to see the patterns, to see designs on like a faces or the same idea. Look at what's around you and make it part of your own designs and way of life. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you wish. And have a good day.